In this video I will show how to set up and use OpenCV C++ API for Android in Android Studio. I will continue on top of previous video, OpenCV for Android, Java, where I discussed how to set up OpenCV for Android, get camera frame for OpenCV image processing, and extracting features from the same using Java. As most people are comfortable with C++ API for OpenCV, I will show how to use camera frames for image processing through C++ OpenCV and extract image features for the same. Finally using a Har Cascade based face detector to detect faces from live camera frames. Here is the Android Studio project from previous video. I will create a new app in the same Android Studio project. First, go to File, New, and then New Module. Here select Phone and Tablet and change the name accordingly. Click on Next and select Empty Activity, click on Next once again. Name the main activity class and layout name, then click on Finish. This will create all files required for new app. Now open the Android manifest of previous app and copy the camera permissions into the Android manifest of new one. Do the same for app layout, copying the entire layout definition and replacing into new one. There are some errors here as we haven't added OpenCV SDK to this app. Same as the previous video, go to File, Project Structure, Dependencies. Here select the newly created app module and add the module dependency. Select OpenCV in Type Implementation, then click on Apply. This will add all the required OpenCV dependencies in the current app. Now go to the main activity of previous app and copy everything inside the class definition to main activity CPP of current app. Similarly extend the main activity CPP to camera activity. Also set the correct layout name. Now go to on camera frame method inside CV camera view listener. The process till getting the camera frames will be same as that done in Java, but after getting the frames from camera we will process them through C++. Now left click on the current app and click on add C++ to module. Select the Create C Makelist option and click on OK. This will create all the necessary files for using native C++ code for app development. Copy the part for loading the library to your main activity CPP, this links C++ code to Java, now you can use functions declared in C++ here. Go to cmakelist.txt, add find package OpenCV required, this will find all the OpenCV dependencies required to use it in C++. Now link the OpenCV libraries to C++ module. Click on Sync Gradle. This shows some error, this is because the CMake is not able to find the OpenCV, one has to exclusively provide the path to OpenCV. For this, go to build.gradle of the current app module. Inside default config, external native build, see make, add arguments and targets. Set the target to the name of C++ module from C make list. Add the argument for OpenCV directory, here you need to provide OpenCV path. Here you can see the OpenCV Android SDK that has been downloaded in previous video, inside it go to SDK, native, JNI. Copy and pass the path for the JNI folder as OpenCV path in build.gradle. Also add argument for which Android toolkit to use. and set standard template library to C++.
Now click on Sync Gradle, this should link all the libraries properly. Now go to the C++ file, include all the required dependencies, which in this case are JNI. Core, Improc and Features 2D from OpenCV2. Along with Vector and String. Set the global namespace to CV. Create a extern C declaration, this will contain all your function to be called in Java. Here first we will create a function to find features, the function declaration should look like as shown, with name of function consist of Java underscore package a name with underscore in between, underscore class name, underscore name of the function. and the arguments to the function being the JNI environment, along with the address for grayscale and RGBA frames which will be received from Java. Now inside main activity CPP, First declare the same functions to use. Inside the onFrame method, call the findFeatures method, passing the address of grayscale and RGBACV matrix respectively. Now go to C file. Inside the findFeatures function, create pointers for grayscale and RGBACV matrix. Create a vector of type point 2f, corners, to hold the corner information. As in previous video use good features to track function to extract features from the camera frame, first pass the gray scale image as input from where the image features will be extracted, the corners vector, the number of max corners, the minimal quality level to be accepted by the detector, the minimum possible distance between two markers, mask if any, the block size, and whether to use Harris Corner Detector. Now for all corners, draw a circle at that point in the frame. Use circle for this, pass the input RGBA frame where the circles will be drawn on, then the point where to draw the circle, the radius of circle, the color, which in this case is just green, and the thickness of circle. Here the phone display can be shown. Run the app. Here in screen you see the image features being detected and marked on screen as green circles. Now we will move to detect faces from the camera frame. As I will be using a Har Cascade based face detector, the model files need to be downloaded from here, I will be using Har Cascade frontal face default, download that.
Go to Android Studio and create an asset folder inside your current app module and place the downloaded model inside the assets folder. Now go to C++ file and include obj detect from OpenCV. Create a cascade classifier variable, face cascade. Create a new function init face detector that will take the path of model as input and load it into cascade classifier. Create another function detect faces which will detect faces in camera frame and draw a rectangle on top of it. Similar to approach in find features create pointers for the grayscale and RGBA CV matrix. Create a vector of type rect, faces, to hold the face information. Use face cascade.detect multiscale to detect objects, which in this case faces of different sizes. Now for all faces, draw a rectangle at that point in the frame. Use rectangle for this, pass the input RGB A frame where the circles will be drawn on. Here provide points P1 which will be the top left corner of the box and point P2 which is bottom right corner of the box. the color, which in this case is just green, and the thickness. Now go to main activity CPP, and define the functions for init face detector and detect faces, same as done for find features. Now inside on create, create a file definition to get the model from cache directory. If file doesn't exist then we will first load the model file as input stream from assets. Create a output stream from file definition. And copy the input stream to output stream.
By doing this we are effectively checking whether the model file exists in cached directory, and if not copy the same from assets to cached directory. But if the file exists then just pass the absolute path of that file into init face detector which will load it in cascade classifier. Now go to on camera frame method inside main activity CPP, here call the detect faces function passing grayscale and RGBACV matrix address as input. Now run the app. On phone screen you can see the faces are being detected and green rectangle is drawn around them.